All right, what's up, YouTube? Today I got this CB70 Vision Rack in today. And I'm going to show you how to set up the heat cable. I'm going to show you my way of doing it. Because um, I know from Triple R Reptiles or YouTube, anything right now, I've been looking up. But when I first got the racks, I couldn't find any videos on how to hook up the, the heat cable. You know, Triple R Reptiles has a video on how to assemble the rack. But... They don't have a video on, you know, how to use the heat cable. The heat cable is basically like a trial and error. You can set it up a, a bunch of different ways. Whichever way is going to, you know, suit you best. Whichever way you prefer. I'm going to show you the way I do it. Now, before I show you the way I do it, I'm going to show you this box where the 52 foot heat cable comes in. It actually shows a little picture on how you could do it, but... Alright, so... Let me put this down real quick. Alright. Now you can see the wire hooked up. Now if you... This is a 52 foot wire. If you do this throughout each rack, you're probably only going to be able to do this to about four of the racks. Or three of the racks. I mean, you're not going to be able to do much, you know, to do all this. Then the wire, the little... Right here. You know, you're going to have to hook up a thermostat to it. And you're probably only going to be able to hook up, a, put another rack near it and only get the use out of using two racks per thermostat. The way I do it, I'm able to use three to four of the racks next to each other and keep a thermostat on top. And the wires are able to all hook up into one thermostat from four, from four racks. Now, they show you this little thing right here where it kind of comes around the middle. You can't do that on these racks. This picture is like false right here. Now, if you see how it is, you know, there is no gap right here. So, you can't come around like they're showing. Also, you got these little holes here and here. When I first got the rack, I came through, right through here. I put it, you know, because it could go through here. And then you could come out this way. And then come through. But, the problem with that is the wire, when you do that way, you got to go through the top, the next hole, right? And now the tub... When you're sliding the tub in and out, you see, if you do it that way, the tub is going to slide against the wire. And eventually what happened to me, like three on three occasions, after a while, it started to t each tub or each row started to tear, make little tears in the wire. And eventually, you know, the wire stopped working. And if you touch those little tears, you know, you'll get shocked or whatever. So this is the best way you're going to do it. <clears throat> One of the best ways of doing it. The way I did it like this. Start there. Now you're gonna come through. Come around there. You see? See how it goes around there? Through there. And what I did over here towards the end, the end doesn't have none of these plastic things where the wire kind of um gets in there nice and tight. I just forced it from side to side and it makes a nice tight fit. And I said I've never had the wire pop up because if you can see, there's a this is all spaced up so that the tub doesn't slide on the wire. But if you feel you know you feel the need, and you, you really don't want it to pop up, take any chances. You could just um put an electrical tape or something. That's about it. You're gonna do that with each row, and pretty much this whole square, this whole big square is gonna heat up. Cause you get to the temperature you want it to or whatever. And it, it works, you know what I mean? This is my second year breeding, whatever. And I got 15 females that are going to lay. And there's possibly a chance of a few more that might go later in the season. So, I mean, it's been working for me real good this way. It takes a lot of trial and error. So, anybody thinking of getting it, you can see. And like I said, see, you want the wire to come around like this. And come over this way when you got the tub, you're sliding it. It doesn't hit or rub against the wire. It messes up the wire. Also, you wanna you want the wire to be a little loose. This way, when you know you push down here, it touches. You know, just a little loose, just in case one of these, you know, you forget or something, the tub slides out. Who knows? And you just keep doing that throughout each rack. Each level. Now I'm going to show you how it gets out, how it gets to the top of the rack. 
So, same thing. Everything's set up the same way. Also, if you decided to, you wanted more heat, you could always do the opposite for this side, and then you got these big, you know, that's a lot of space of heat if you decided to do that. But, I mean, this corner right here is more than enough for ball pipe, adult ball pythons. Now, this is the last level. If you see this little black right here line, from here down is when the heat cable starts to heat up. From here up is no heat going through it and it's about, as you can see, it's about two feet of extra cord. Like I said, when I did it this way, I'm able to keep, I can keep four racks, four racks together, you know, and then keep the, I think I got the four Herps that Pro, whatever it is, where you can keep four wires hooked up into it. In the picture, the wire would have came out you know right here something and you can't really you know you can't really hook up too many of the racks to to a thermostat definitely a good way of doing it go also up top you know fix it in good and that's about it what I'm gonna show you is this rack I actually got for some of my adult normals and stuff and blood pythons that would be housing in here these tubs are actually from ARS decided to give them a try I like the dark tubs so let's see there goes my girl she hawk she's the size of her head it's my biggest normal she's head for albino sitting at 4700 grams probably more I haven't weighed her in a while but you can see her in the tub how much of the tub she takes up yeah I decided to get these tubs because for sub adult blood pythons, I would rather have them have a little bit more space towards the back. The water dish is nice all the way towards the front. She's so heavy, she's moving the rack. Alright. Put it off real quick. Here goes my angry ball. Female. She's getting nice and big. This is a uh, hybrid. She's a uh, ball python. Times and times and golden python. Make sure she doesn't get out and watch why they call them angry balls. Yeah, you good. Yeah, that's why they call them angry balls. She's just so angry. It's looking real good. And then my T negative albino male. Getting up in that cypress mulch real good. Yeah, so this is this rack is mostly going to be for all my normal female ball pythons and any blood pythons I'm growing out. Eventually, I'll get rid of a bunch of the normals and just keep the really, really big, you know, 4,000 plus gram normals I have. Let's see if I can show you him. He is enjoying this cypress mulch right now. Yeah, so there he goes. Now I could put some, I could get some nice size on him in this tub. I was kind of um, feeding him really lightly so that he would stay, you know, a certain size. I had him in a sub adult tub, which is about half this size. And then while I'm getting too big, and now that I got him in this tub, you know, I could grow him out. The female right now, I mean, he's about, he's not even a quarter of her size. You know, I got them in as a pair, same age and everything, but really, really slowly fed him just so that he wouldn't grow too much in a small tub and have enough room to, you know, get to his cool side and hot side without any problems. But yeah, now I could start putting on some size on him. So, all in all, it's pretty, it's nice. I'm liking the um, ARS tubs. They seem to be nice. You know. Yeah, she looks like she's grabbing it. She's not. It's just how big she is. It was a monster. 
But that's it. Hopefully this video will help anybody that's thinking of getting a vision rack. How to set up your heat cable. Later.